and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth, aka Foxgrove, and we make cozy gaming content here on this channel. I'm sitting here in my work clothes because YouTube is life and I wanted to film this little intro for you for this Let's Play. Today we're going to figure out who our campsite villager is and I'm also going to go through and invite the rest of the villagers that we have on Azaria. If you haven't been following this Let's Play series, Azaria started out as my no time traveling, no treasure islands, no trading with other players. And this is only episode six, but I've already thrown all of that to the wind. I have indeed time traveled for this video. I'm so, so sorry. I will still be doing Let's Plays for this series because I have really enjoyed the casual gameplay style, but I was so, so excited to get to the actual meat of decorating. And I'm very excited about the theme for this island. Azaria is going to be a vintage garden core or meadow core themed island. I'm so, so, so excited. We recently did a stream where we saved a bunch of codes. So if you're interested in seeing kind of what the vibe is going to be like on this island, definitely go and check out that live stream. But we are not even there yet. Let's go ahead and hop into this video and see who moved on to the island. All right, Isabel, what have you got for us? It's August the 3rd. And you can tell I've been time traveling because it's August 2nd in real life. But I'm very excited to see who this campsite villager is. I have high, 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 high hopes. What? What? I'm going to throw up. What the hell? Yeah, I know who you are. This is, do we delete the island? Do we, do we delete this island? I, I don't know what we do. I just, I don't even want to dialogue. I don't even want to click through the dialogue. I'm just like, what? I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted right now. I am not going to enjoy having you here. Let's get that straight right now, Pietro. Honk, honk. Why is that Pietro's catchphrase? I don't even want to go home, but I want you to. Oh, the pain. I do not even want to click to invite this villager. This is terrible. The, the, the maniacal laugh. So after inviting Pietro, I got to work making this fortress so that he cannot come out onto the island and i haven't seen him out at all since i built this so it is successful um in containing him towards the back of the island after that i wanted to kind of cleanse the aura of the island from that atrocity and i started to purchase the remaining four villager plots for the island and just kind of plop them around plop them around i realized i have literally no money um we are broke, absolutely broke. Um, I didn't really care where these plots went too much. We can always move them later. I just kind of wanted to um, invite some more cuties to this island. I was really considering deleting the island forever just because of Pietro, because I can't handle it. And then I did have one more plot that I needed to grab, so I went ahead and sold some fruit to Timmy and Tommy. I feel like that's one of the fastest ways to just make a few extra dollars in this game. It's not like a ton of money. If I had ran around my whole island and got every single fruit, it definitely would have been a little bit better. Uh, but here I am just placing the third villager plot. I kind of wanted to scatter them. I kind of like the look of that, especially if we put some trees in between. I think it'll end up being kind of cute, but you know what? It'll probably completely change by the time we get to the end of the island, if I'm being honest. And then here I am absolutely broke. 2,000 bells to my name and I'm placing the fourth villager plot. I haven't put any villager plots on the beach at all for this island so I thought it would be only right if we put at least one on the beach. Boone was kind enough to relinquish that spot that he was using and then we went ahead and flew to the first Nook Mile Island. I'm so excited for you guys to see who our first villager invite is going to be and it is Claudia. She is, look at her, in all of her pink glory. I don't know what is going on, why we keep getting so many pink villagers on this island. It's really, really weird. I think I'm not, I don't want to go like too crazy with the pink, you know, the pink decor because, you know, I just don't want to go too overboard. Um, but I do feel like we need to kind of incorporate the color pink throughout this island because it's kind of demanding it. Next Nook Mile Island had no one. I was so sad, especially because I've used so many tickets. So I went ahead and flew to the third ticket that I had and I found Kit. I've never had any of the kangaroos on any of my islands before, but she is wearing like kind of a pink little dress. Um, so I felt like she kind of fit in 
I don't have enough Nook Mile tickets to really go hunting, so we are just taking who we can get. Um, and yeah, it ended up being Kit. Sorry to rhyme. She's not a terrible villager. I kind of find the babies to be a little bit creepy. I was checking where she was going to live, and I noticed that this plot actually auto-filled, and it's Octavian. I I was honestly a little bit disappointed, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I don't love the octopus villagers, so I went ahead and flew to the fourth ticket island, and I found this pink bear. I cannot even believe it. Another pink villager and it's Vladimir. I really didn't want to invite him so I ended up like subconsciously walking away and then look at what he says to me when I come back. I couldn't believe the irony. I'm like what? This game, this game is so weird but I do like him. He's, he's pretty cute. And there we are. Those are our final four villagers on this island. I appropriately changed my flag to pink because it felt like the right thing to do. And I wanted to show you how the map is coming along here. Um, you can see the houses are pretty scattered throughout the island as are the shops. And I think it's going to be really nice, but we have, uh, Pietro, Claudia, Boone, Fuchsia, Octavian, Paolo, Kit, Dora, Vladimir, and Tabby. All right, friends, that is going to wrap up Let's Play episode six. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. We definitely have a pretty interesting line of villagers going on here on Azaria. I really hope that you guys have been enjoying it because I've been absolutely loving sharing it with you guys. Before we say goodbye, I do want to thank our channel members. Thank you so much for supporting my work here on this channel. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you very soon in the next one. Bye.